Hello, this is Reza Red from Redacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about conditional column in Power Query. Sometimes you want to do a conditional calculation um, created as a column. Power Query has a really great option to do that using a graphical interface. You can go ahead and create that conditional column with the criteria you want. Let's see how it works. I often get this question in my training sessions or consulting sessions that I want to create a calculated column. Should I do that in Power Query or should I do that in DAX? Now, uh, most of the time when you are doing a calculated column, because the operation is row by row, it's better to be done in Power Query because then you can move it in data flow, you can use it in other data sets. Uh, there would be much more benefit here. And another thing is that you have a really good uh, user interface, the graphical user interface that you can use for it. Now, I'm showing you a couple of ways to create a conditional column in Power Query. I have a customer table here. I'm just removing those steps that I have done before. I have a customer table here, and this has information about each customer. Um, and I want to add a conditional column on the total children, uh, on the total children column here. I want to say, for example, based on the total children, I want to decide what is. Uh, I want to actually uh, derive what is the uh, family size. For example, this can be if um, the total children is zero or one, then it is a small. Uh, if it is more than that, it's big and, and like different bands for that. Uh, so to do that, you can go ahead and add a column in the Power Query conditional column. By the way, the way do you can go to the Power Query from Power BI Desktop is to go to the Home tab, mainly transform data that will get you to the Power Query editor window. In the Power Query editor window, add column, conditional column. Now I can uh, define a condition just like this. So my new column, I'm going to call it family size. And I can say where the column here, I can choose the column, for example, when the total children column is um, less than or equal to one, then I would call it a small else I can call it large. So it's like a simple if then else. If this is less than or equal to one, then small, otherwise large. These are text values. You can change it to anything else you want, like zero, one, or or anything else. I can click on OK. This creates that family size column for me, and you see the values of small, large. I'll bring these beside each other so that you can actually compare them. This is how you can move a column in Power Query, now where was the total children? Um, or I can just select those two. But anyway, found the total children. So it's a little bit over there. Moving it closer to that. Okay, now it's much easier to, to see. So uh, anything more than zero or one, considered as small. Now I might want to add another category like small, medium, large. Um, then I can, anytime I want, I can go to the setting of this uh, step, the step that I add conditional column. I can add another. So I add another clause saying that if the total children now is less than or equal to three, then I would call it medium. You notice that I didn't said less than or equal three more than one. The reason is that this priority, uh, this um, order of items here is important. The first uh, check would be this one, then else if. That means we will go to the second row only if it is not meeting the first criteria, which means here that if it is less than or equal to one, it will meet that criteria, we will get that value. If not, that means it's already more than one when it comes to this row. So I don't really need to check. Is it 
also more than one and then less than uh, three this should be by the way is less than or equal and less than or equal to three and then it does that and then else is after all of these so i click on ok and you should see this now over there i just go to the last step so i see these beside each other after the reorder of the columns and here it is so now i have medium small large all of this so very simple conditional column is really simple you can choose to have values or you can have a column here like if it is less than that show this column if it is more than that show another column uh, you can even have parameters here let me show you one other example in case you want to do something different i'm going to remove some of these steps or i might just do it in the first in in this one now let's say in this one what i'm trying to do in this one is to use these columns the marital status this is uh, married or single and gender male or female in fact i'm going to remove every other column so that it makes it easier to see so if it is a uh, male married i want to actually drive something like a title then it would be title would be mr if it is a uh, single male still master if it is let's say single female let's say we call it miss and if it is a um, single uh, sorry female married if i can find any record here yeah, like this record then it would be uh, mrs right let's say you want to drive something like that now how you would implement and or or things like that because you have to say you have to compare these two you have to combine these two together you have to say for example when it is male and single when it is female and um, married so how you can do that i can say uh, add a conditional column i'm going to call this title now uh, you can consider the order of items here that's that's really important the order of items uh, means that you can choose which one to go first and you can actually move them up and down here so i can first check for the gender the reason for that is that if it is male then regardless of marital status it's always going to be missed right so i can change this uh, gender check the gender if it is equal to male then it is mr right i don't really need to check female or uh, married or single then for this female however it's important how uh, what the other field is so i add another clause here but in this one i don't really say when it is female and single or when it is female and married because when we come to this row remember the order of items matters when we come to this row it means it is not male in this data set that we have only male and female this means it is female right in other data sets it might be different so here i don't check for the gender i just say marital status is equal to for example married then this would be mrs otherwise this means this is a female not married and it would be miss right so using that order of items i don't really need to say and or 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 anything like that and that works really simple here is the result now there is another way sometimes you really need to have and or or something like that how you would do it um, you can in fact change the expression really simple this formula bar that you see at the top i always recommend enabling that you can enable it in view tab view tab formula bar and you can always come here and say for example if gender is male and i think and we should use this i think it is and and for example uh, marital status is for example single right in this case it won't really uh marital status i missed an s 
it won't really make much difference because uh, for male marital estate is single or male should do the same. But uh, this shows you how you can go and change and and or into this expression. Brackets would help to make it much easier to read. So you have different options. You can come to add column, conditional column, define your logic here, move them up or down if you want to like what you can see here already I can do uh, you can choose other columns to be the result of that you can compare this with other columns uh, and uh, you can also go to the M script and change it if you want to I hope this video helped you to create uh, your conditional columns in Power Query if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel we have weekly videos of Power BI and AI